so big huh yeah for sure okay so when you were in mommy's belly right we called you peanut and when and Aya, when you were in Aya, when Aya was in your belly you called her kiwi kiwi and papaya and why did you call me peanut because you look like a peanut when we saw the ultrasound pictures So now we need a name for this one. Banana. What? Bana banana. <laughs> do you Barbie. think? Do you think it's a boy? I don't know, but I think it's a boy. Your curls are so pretty. You're popping out. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> so can your clothes still fit you? Can my clothes still fit me? I'm growing out of my clothes. I need to go shopping. Can you buy me something? Yeah, you want. Do you want, do you want like some granny stuff? Granny? Hey! <laughs> well, can I just tell you that this girl, she is a shopper. Shopper? Yeah. 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 Shopper? Air Forces. Oh my god. And then she got this outfit for exercise. She said she needs to exercise. And she got another outfit for exercise. And then she went into Zara. I'm like, you have, she had this all planned out. She knew exactly what she was doing. <laughs> she looks so cute. Do your little outfit of the day. So, is that Not the garbage. Okay, delete that. <laughs> Stop being a perfectionist. Life ain't perfect. Okay. Yes, honey. Okay, so this is not the outfit of my baby because I have something better that I'm going to show you guys. Right now, I'm just wearing this right now. So right now, first is my cute little pants. <laughs> and then I have these little pants. And then I have these little pants. And then I have these little pants. And yeah, with my Air Force ones. So cute. Tell Miles thank you. I already did. I love my family. Samia, you are feeling yourself. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> hey, Miles. Oh, you're over there spoiling Samia and getting her some shoes. What about my shoes? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you're so sweet, Miles. Thank you. Yeah, what do you think I'm having? A boy. I pray it's a boy. Oh my gosh, Auntie Julian, come here. Tell the hunties how you reacted. Like when you told me a few weeks ago, and I was at the gym, and you showed me the stick and said that you're pregnant. I, I did I not cuss you? You cussed me out. You called me an idiot, and you said you wouldn't be so dumb. It says that I'm pregnant. I highly doubt that you would be so stupid. I don't believe that. I swear to God. You what? I swear to God. Bring, look, 
when I come there on Sunday, I take him to the doctor on Monday and we go see. I said, you would not be so dumb and I know it's a prank. <laughs> and I thought it was a prank. Oh my God. Babies are blessings, so of course, we're all going to love up and spoil up the new one. But you should probably tie your tubes after this. <laughs> You know how I get my little five day break? I'm gonna send this baby over by Adams too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. yeah, I was like, you're getting your five days and now you're gonna have like no break. I am gonna have a break because the baby's going. Little do you guys know the baby's going too. <laughs> I need to get my nails done. Will you just tell me to stop playing with my hair? Will you get it when that's putting on my hair? I love these and gold tips. They're so hair. cute. What? I said my gold tips. Yeah, I want to get them redone. Oh, whoa, they're it, lasting a long time. Yeah, it goes cute with my jewelry. Okay, I'm about to go eat. I'm so hungry. I have to go feed your sibling. Ugh. So I really need to make oh some spaghetti God. right now. We're totally eavesdropping Adam in the car. We were right behind the from you. And they're like watching. And you're like, they're going to think I'm crazy. So in case you Oh, we didn't see you watching. Oh, thanks for two It was hilarious. It was so funny. That's hilarious. Thank oh, you. <laughs> Just try to live life and be merry, That's you know? Right. <laughs> <gasps> Buy one, get one free. See, this is why I love Publix. And it's organic. Absolutely. Okay. Ooh, you're strong. Hold that basket. You better get it, honey. Oh my gosh, get me some peaches. I like no. peaches. Why? We only doing apricots. Well, oh, dang, how many apricots do you need? And we eating the seeds. <laughs> of course. I'm a shorty. Can you give me the two of those all the way back there? Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh works. my gosh. Thank you. You're welcome. See, look, look. Beautiful ladies using my man and get her some yogurt at the top. Too hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we make spaghetti. You know what? People love us. Yeah. They really do. Like whenever we go out, people are always yeah. talking to us. I think it's you. You think it's me? Why? Because that don't happen when I'm by myself. No, I'm saying it's when we are together. When I'm by myself, like people be locking doors. And <laughs> Oh my god, I feel bad for my black man. <laughs> Grabbing their belts. <laughs> Stop it. Oh god. He's so dumb. Okay, now we're getting some beef. I love meat, okay? Like, stop judging me. That's what she said. I love meat. Look at how big your baby is. Oh. You know both of my other kids was both eight pounds, seven ounces. Oh, no, no, no. That's not coming out of my cootie. Eight pounds, seven ounces? Both of them was eight pounds, seven ounces. Why are you looking at these dresses? Because you need new clothes. We oh, I thought you said... your pregnant clothes in Publix. Like, I want to know how much clothes are in the grocery store. Have you ever wondered? Like, have you ever looked at how much it would be? Okay, like Walmart prices, $15.99. It's not bad. Okay, okay. Chicken and ting, y'all. Last night I had a curry goat and oxtail. Oh god, curry goat and oxtail. We're planting and ting. You've been eating mango and coconut water and ting. 
And the rice and beans. Hey! Oh my gosh, you look so good. I can't wait to see all the footage. Make sure you send me everything. I am. Tonight I'm going to put on that dress. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's going to be so I cute. Gotta, I found a makeup artist out here. Really? Okay, good. Where so, are you at? What are you doing? Let I, me see the baby. Oh, he's getting so big and handsome. I know, right? We need a name for the bump. Well, we're going to name it Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> I'm going to tell you With guys what, why. Why? With a Z. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the hunties. Hi, hunties. <laughs> Daniel with a Z. Z hi, two, three. What up? Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. You're glowing. You look so happy. Do I? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been feeling like okay. so good. Yeah, you guys look good. This is good. No, you look so incredible. Wag one. <laughs> man. Okay, call me when you're on the wrap. Okay, I love you guys. I love so you. you. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Go turn up. Live okay, your okay, life. I'll talk to you soon. I love y'all. Love you. See you later. Eek! Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, let's go. What chapstick do you guys use that doesn't have like a weird scent to it? Comment below for me because I need some suggestions. I need some help around here. Color. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading the comments on our pregnancy test video, and one of the comments said, "You know, Latoya, I think you need to have a conversation with Slick off camera because he might not want the baby." <laughs> And then some people were like, um, Slick's reaction was questionable. My reaction wasn't questionable, you guys? Some people just don't know what they be looking at. They don't. Just like when they voted for Biden. Obviously, this guy should not have been the president. Biden's being a popular, a, 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 a cop, a Thank you, Secretary Buttigieg. Thank you all for being here. Please sit down. But they wouldn't vote it for him anyway because he was with Barack Obama. <laughs> now, now we got a, a zombie clone in office because people think they can judge something by the outside instead of looking at something for what it actually is. I think that you didn't believe me. You thought I was pranking you, which is why you told me to take the test again. I mean, <laughs> and okay, so you, you thought you couldn't have kids. I didn't think so I couldn't have shooting. kids. When we were shooting the podcast, I was upset because you didn't have the jacket on. And I specifically told you and Shanae, do not wear white on this white background. Right. I was so busy caught up with all the other stuff that was going on with technical because I was having technical issues. 
And then it was probably about 20 minutes into filming and I realized you didn't have a coat on. Yeah. And after that, I looked up, I looked at Shanae, I was like, what's going on? And then I was like, I started staring at you a whole lot more and I noticed your stomach looked like it was busting out your pants. <laughs> and I was like, yo, we really need this damn jacket on. Yeah. And then I said, wait a minute. She didn't look like that last week. Yeah. And I said, can't be. I didn't notice that my stomach was protruding out, like it was poking out of my jeans. Yeah, well, I did. And so you after the jacket time. on, and you didn't tell me. No, because you be, you was you, you. Sometimes you don't want to hear the truth. You just want to hear what makes you feel good. Right, right. And then a few days went by, and I was just, I just kept looking, mm -hmm. and I was like, Nah, no. That ain't, that ain't what's happening. And then you just came, you just up and while I was over there working, you just up and said, I think I'm pregnant. I was like, dang, I was just thinking this for the past two weeks. I said, nah. So I was like, kind of like shocked that you said out loud what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. So then when we went and got the test, I was like, I was sitting there just like still kind of in my head. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw the line, I mean, I, I, I ain't never took no pregnancy test, so I don't know what's up. I don't know if it's one line or two line. I don't know if the light skin line is actually real. You know, I was literally a little bit, like, thrown off. Yeah. And then I was like, is she playing a joke on me? Because, you know, one season of, of Love and Hip Hop, um, Bambi wanted to play a joke on Sierra, mm -hmm. so I helped her play a joke on Sierra. Mm -hmm where um, all the girls was at a, at a little cabin and they all peed on a, a pregnancy test, mm -hmm. just to be funny. Mm -hmm. Bambi, at the time, was the only one who knew that she was actually pregnant. So nobody, nobody knew she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. So she knew she was pregnant, so she came and told me, she said, Slick, let's swap out Sierra's stick. <laughs> yeah. I said, okay. She said, you got another one? I said, yeah. I went and got another prayer. Gave it to her. She peed. I said, well, so you really got She was like, yeah. I was like, dang, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell the other producers. It was just me and Bambi. The only one who knew, knew this joke was about to happen. Yeah. We put the, oh, shit. We put the, uh, swapped it out with Sierra. She damn near fell out. She was crying. Ooh. Right? So I'm like, okay. Is Toya playing this kind of joke on me? Mm hmm. But is it a joke? Because I was actually thinking the same thing. Yeah. So I was just thrown off mm -hmm. a little bit, you know? Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's not something that I wouldn't want because mm -hmm. I've been saying you for the longest more. that I want two more. Mm -hmm. But, you know, obviously there was other things that we was trying to do and I was the one that said I don't physically want to have a child yeah, I want to at least you, get a surrogate mother yeah, you want to have a test tube baby and I wouldn't with that yeah <laughs> I don't understand why somebody would say I don't want to have a child because I was looking like that I was just a little I was in my head in my thoughts and as an Aquarius mm -hmm. everybody know that when we in our thoughts we are what Quiet. quiet, you get quiet. That's just me. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Mm -hmm. Everyone reacts differently, and I just feel like he was just trying to process but, but what, I've what been, was going on. What I've been doing every single day. Loving up this baby. Waiting on your hand and foot. <laughs> if that's, what they, that's what they wanted you to do. <laughs> that's what they wanted you to do. <laughs> but he does that. <laughs> That's the reaction right there. <laughs> oh, give me that scotch bun and pepper sauce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Bon appétit. 
strange use for its full words. He said, I did have a chance to beautiful the past years, but there are the first bodies that will not perceive this film. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm pregnant. I don't know why I'm out of breath, but I'm out of breath. So right now I'm editing the kids' reaction on when I told them that I was pregnant. I got like a big gift bag from Target, right? And then I filled it up with baby stuff like bibs, pacifiers, and my ultrasound from my doctor's appointment the other day. And um, I wrapped each baby item. I put it in the gift bag. And then I had my kids open each item. And they were so confused. They were like, why do I have a pacifier? Why do I have a bib? And what's going on, right? So I recorded their reaction and I thought it was cute. And that was my little announcement to my kids that I'm expecting a baby. Okay guys, so I have two, three, Zane, I love your new bestie. Is it my turn? Is it your turn? Okay, you wanna read two? Okay, go ahead. What is it? I want to go to school and Good job, Aya. <laughs> editing this really quick and then I'll show you guys hello who's the baddest bitch in Atlanta Latoya forever who's the baddest bitch in Ghana you know, your girl, Rochelle, forever. <laughs> Rochelle forever. You look Could you imagine if I take my name to Rochelle forever? I think that you should. That would be freaking hilarious. You should do it. Do it now. <gasps> Don't make me cry. <laughs> Yo, Rochelle forever. I love no, it. No, 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 no. I would absolutely fall over. That is like that. so funny. So right now I'm editing and I'm also vlogging. So would you like to say oh hi? God talking like that yeah that's great <laughs> you look so good with this chow filter is that snapchat yes bitch wait I, yeah 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 that's snapchat that's snapchat i that need it be one of my three pictures on my split screen <laughs> and i took a picture of my um my drink so that's gonna be in the split screen as well yeah you have to do three pictures so <laughs> All right, this is one of my pictures. Hold on, let me show you. Should this be the middle photo? Let me see. This is the thing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Like, I don't god. feel cute. Not at all. Not at all. Oh my god. That I know. So dead. Oh my god. Oh. Yo, am I gonna look like that when I'm 55? Hell no. I hope to god not. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hello? 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 Hello, Latoya. This is Edway DT. So we're calling you on a recorded line. And right now, we don't want you to worry. We're not calling in with any alarm event. We're actually calling in with some good news. We did notice that you currently don't have any solar panels with us. And based on our records, it does show that you qualify for our solar program. Oh, right what now, kind of solar day. panels? Well, the brands that we have, we have Pew Sales, Safe Solar, and Canadian, Canadian Solar. Our specialists will go and give you more information about our solar program. And the process will be simple. Like I mentioned, our specialists will visit your home. Where do solar panels go? 
Where do they go? They go on top of your on top of your roof, and our specialists will give you all of that information. Once he sh- shares the information about how cone solar works and evaluates your home for efficiency upgrades. Another reason. Why oh, I I don't have a roof. Okay, so right now are you currently renting, so you don't have a property. No. So you don't have a property. No. Okay, so unfortunately right now you're not eligible for our solar program since so you're not having no property. Since you're interested in supporting solar, I recommend that you participate in our ADT. Wait, hold on. But I, wait, have. just give me a second. So are you going to be able to buy me a roof? No, we're not. Oh. So you could go ahead and, and participate in our ADT. But I really want a solar panel. But I really want a solar panel, so I need you guys to buy me a roof so I can have a house, so I can have a solar panel. (laughs) Oh my gosh, Rochelle. So this telemarketer called me like 20 times. I just had to answer the phone, so... They're off the phone now. They asked me if I wanted a solar panel and I told them that I don't have a roof to put the solar panel. I asked them to buy me a house so I can have a roof. (laughs) See if that goes. Yeah, it's cute. I'm feeling the emotion now. You're having a baby? <laughs> You're having a baby? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's making me smile. I love you. Oh, so cute. Oh my god. There's going to be a fourth one fighting over me. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh my god. No, I'm going to let you go. Yeah, that's cute, guys. I like that one. Yeah, I'm like the type that has to watch it about 40 times before I post it. What is this? You're having a baby? (laughs) You're having a baby? So I'm going to use this photo for my cover shot. I'm just going to go to Lightroom and quickly edit it do you guys use lightroom to edit your photos all right so i'm just adding some contrast just so you can see our skin and our skin pops more i'm also going to scroll down this baby's talking and darken and darken the black that's before after cute cute all right grid baby number four be sure to go like my latest reel on my instagram my instagram is at latoya forever okay uh-huh. okay y'all so tracy is here oh, my editor best in the game oh although she hasn't been <laughs> editing my vlogs because right now we're editing our course okay yeah. on how to become a lifestyle influencer an influencer content creator mm-hmm. and we are going to drip out the course mm-hmm. so she just went over the first um week yeah right and so she has some notes I do. So I had put first. First of all, what do you think? I like it. Right? Do you I like that. Love it. Yeah, I think it's clean. It's the videos are short, so it's straight to the point. Mm-hmm. Which I love. Yeah, I don't like long, drawn out videos. Right? Videos. Don't worry, the lessons aren't going to be like this with Aya whining and <laughs> the TV blasting in the background. Um, so I have put, like, I like that you have good examples of the pillars. When they're finding their niches, you have yeah. two good influencers where it's very, very clear yep. what their, you know, yep. niches and what those pillars are. Yep. And, I, yep. and then I like that you sounded real personable. Really? Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. Like, you sound like it's just you 
talking to a person. Good. Yeah, you know I, how I many like takes that. I had to do? Because I just wanted to make sure that I was being myself, I was giving them valuable information, yeah. and that I didn't eh. miss anything. You know, I wanted to make sure that I got Trust everything. me, I know you did a lot of takes. Yeah, like a lot of takes. Yeah. So they came out was perfect. I'm a perfectionist. It's the weirdest thing. The videos, oh. you should fade them out at the end. Like a hey. quick fade. Okay, a quick fade. Oh, from your bio, let me show you. There's a bracket by your name. Um, right here. You have to read like this. Got it. Okay. 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 But how did you fail the quiz? So at at the end of all of my modules, I have a quiz, right? Tracy failed one of the. I did. You didn't fail. You just got one question wrong. But it said failed at the top. <laughs> because you're supposed to be one hundred percent. Okay. But three questions, honey. I was over here shaking. <laughs> okay, so I have to make that one easier then. No, I just think the obvious oh. answer isn't the answer. Right. I mean, yeah, I thought about all the above, but I was it like, could, but because it is. It is, but this falls under that. That would um, be correct. You know what she's annoying me for right now? What? She wants to go on Snapchat and use all the filters. Oh. I know you guys. Yeah, she's been harassing me. That's a funny face. Okay, yeah, go get my phone. Okay, let's eat first and then you'll um do the funny face, okay? I don't want to eat. Okay. <laughs> Just go and do whatever you want. So, okay, so for these two parts, right? Uh -huh. This is fine. I just don't like you. Okay, so I'm gonna change yeah. yeah. okay. You don't look like you. What do I look like? That's when I was skinny. <laughs> so, okay, so for these two, should it just be me? Just like a write out? Yeah, those are fine. Because you don't want to bombard them with too many videos. That's what I was thinking. Like, you don't need to see my face in every single one, right? Yeah. I, like, I like that it's. Because here's the thing, you can. This doesn't need to be like a video. I feel like a video is more in depth when you really want to get yeah. the message. But just defining something real yeah. quick, you know? It, because yeah. honestly, I did a video and it was like two minutes. I'm like, this is dumb. Mm -hmm. So I'm not even going to waste my time posting it. I'm exactly. just going to type it out and make it cute. So you're going to be an uncle of four? Wait a minute, you're pregnant? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way. I'm pregnant. You're, you're lying to me. Swear to God. Let me see the stick. Let me see the stick. L listen, Slick, can you not see my stomach? Oh my gosh, but are you pushing it out? I'm not pushing it out. Are you pranking me? I'm pregnant. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that we're pregnant. How, how do you feel? I don't know. How did you find out? Like, it was just so random. Like, I found out two days ago, and we were both just shocked because we were like, how? <laughs> because we, you know, take plan B. Yeah. We use some, you know, protective measures, maybe not to the extent that we should be using them, like birth control. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was feeling like sleepy. I was sleeping all day. My, I was so bloated. I'm like, this is so weird. It just felt like there was water waves in my stomach. Right. And, you know, I have three kids, so I know three all the three. symptoms. I just knew. And then I was craving like a bacon and egg sandwich with tomatoes in it with ketchup and then i was putting syrup in the sandwich in the sandwich yes yeah. and shemima's syrup and it was just like so delicious that sounds like me on edibles <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that's definitely a crazy like what i'm like what the hell oh my god this is so exciting Oh, I don't want to tell you because you got, you know, you're so excited about your brand. Are you kidding me? Trip, and I'm this just like, let so me not. Exciting. It's not That's a prank. It's not a prank. 
Yeah. Yep. No, oh my god, this is so exciting. They have like the Jenner Kardashians. You know, and I'm just so excited to like I love being pregnant, documenting my pregnancy. It's just like a new journey, you know? Yeah. And yeah. every pregnancy is different. So I'm just excited to share my experiences with the vlog again and just I don't know, I just feel like it's a fresh start. It's a good start because I kind of lost my because I haven't really been posting. I haven't really been like excited to post and all that. So now that I'm going through this new journey, I feel excited. You know, I'm, I'm excited to share my life. Maybe this is like just what you needed, you know? I think this is and what I so, needed. You're such a good mother. Like that's like something that comes so natural to you. Like mm. the way that you like love your children and do anything for your children. Like you're like such an incredible mother. So like I know this experience in this journey is meant for you oh thank you i feel like god is telling me okay just you know settle down have more babies <laughs> because this is your calling this is my purpose for you take care of my generations <laughs> yeah, so now we have to figure out names yeah. i'm just like i want to name the baby two three <laughs> 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 two three forever yep and then on your next influencer trip you can take the baby <laughs> <laughs> use the baby as a little prop <laughs> i've always wanted more kids but you know the experience i had with aya i was so fearful to have them on my own and plus i'm getting older now and you know it's risky so I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have this baby physically. Maybe I should just have, you know, a surrogate mother. But then I, it just happened. So I can Hi. Say so goodnight to everyone. Look. Look in the camera. Good night. I love you. love you. Today I'm going to buy it, okay? Anyways, guys. I love you. You want I'm gonna get my nails done tomorrow. Look at my nails. This one broke. I'm loving my gold tips. They're so cute. I keep getting compliments on my gold tips, but I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get my nails done. Can I get some more apple crap, please? It's so good. Mmm. It's so yummy. What'd you guys do today? I had a pretty chill day today i worked I edited i have to shoot my brand deal tomorrow so i'll take you guys along with me or you guys can probably just work with me i'm just gonna start turning on the camera and just letting it go you guys look it's 11 46 hold on can you see I don't know, it's 11.46 and Aya's up. Aya, you need to go to bed. It's bedtime and no. Samia's in Canada. I miss Samia so much. I talk to her, I speak to her every day. She's been saying, she's been messaging me every hour saying, I miss you mom, I can't wait to see you. Come to Canada, oh my gosh, I love you. But she's enjoying her time in Canada, so I'm happy that she's there, spending time with family. You know, we're just so close to our family in Canada, so I'm happy that she was able to go and just... <sighs> Nagi, Nagi, I'm gonna call the baby bump Nugget, okay? That is the bump name. So you whenever know. you refer to my bump, you know the name is Nuggy or Nugget. So cute. Hi little Nuggy. That's yeah, my Nuggy. So yeah, I wanted to move back to Canada. Slick, like, remember when I wanted to move back to Canada? Um, you talking about today or yesterday? <laughs> last week. Oh, yeah. I thought you were referring to last month. <laughs> Yeah, I always want to move back no! to Canada. As you guys know, my grandfather he passed away last year. And um, we got my grandmother an apartment. My grandma has dementia. And so our family house, like my grandparents' house, it was just way too huge 
for my grandma to stay in. Like her bed was in the living room because she couldn't go to her room because her room was upstairs. And it was just way too much space. So we got her a condo, which is literally like five minutes away. And so she's so much more comfortable. We have care for her and nurses and stuff. And my family, of course, they're there with my grandma every single day. And so um, I would literally move into my grandparents house i would renovate it a little bit and i would move in like what why not why not move in you know i wouldn't even buy a house because what's the point i can live with i can live in my grandparents house i would love that so much sometimes i feel lonely out here i'm not gonna lie um of course i have my children i have slick i have malan I have her boyfriend Kimani. Um, I have my little sister Victoria. <sighs> but my mom and I were just like not on speaking terms. We have a very black China and Tokyo Tony kind of relationship. I have a lot of built up resentment that I haven't been able to fully release i mean i go to therapy and all that kind of stuff but um i don't know it's just a, it's a conversation for another time but the relationship is very up and down and i don't know if it's something that can be it is something that can be saved but it will take god to come down <laughs> It would take God to come down from heaven above and be like, yo. <laughs> I can admit when I'm wrong. But when someone else doesn't see their own fault and is always placing blame, I have a problem with that. Because then we can't have an honest conversation about where we both went wrong because the other party doesn't see their wrongdoings in any situation you know and obviously something had to have happened for me to feel this way towards you you know what i'm saying and so if we can't have an honest conversation then how do we move on in peace how do we move on and heal how do we move on and work on our relationship if we cannot if we cannot talk about past issues and forgive and heal and move forward how do you do that with somebody that isn't willing or open to admitting their wrongdoing you know what i'm saying and so that is my main issue like i am not a fake person i'm an aquarius i keep it real and i like to move with pure intention i i don't know how to fake and i'm able to be open but you know i'm having a hard time working on this relationship because that party isn't able to just be open and lay everything out on the table and so i'm just hoping and praying that one day we're able to have a conversation an honest open conversation if we need to bring a third party in if we need to bring a mediator in if we need to bring a therapist in a family member whatever you know to get us to a place where we're able to heal and we're able to recognize our faults then i will be down to move forward but i can't move forward without talking about um how we got here we need to talk about how we got here i'm not faking it with nobody no more so anyways with that being said i'm gonna go read the bible <laughs> i'm gonna go on you version right now Okay, read the Bible, say my prayers, and go to sleep. That's what I'm about to do. <laughs> mommy? Hmm? Zoe, mommy? Yes? I want chips. What? Chips. You want what? Chips. You want what? I want chips. You, no. It's, it's 11.59. Can we pick chips? You cannot have chips. You can have your blankie. No, my... My pink blanket's gone. Mm -hmm. oh, my pink blanket. You want your pink blanket? Yeah. Okay, you can have your pink blanket. 
is it? And you can come lay down beside mommy. Where is it? And we can watch her. And we can go to sleep. You ready for bed? Are you ready for bed, Aya? Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, and comment your thoughts below. I love you, and I will see you in the next vlog. Good night! Mommy, or good I'm morning. Go to pool. Huh? I'm going to go to the pool. Tomorrow? Okay. Want to go to the pool tomorrow? And my dad took me to the pool. Huh? My dad took me to the pool. Oh, your dad took you to the pool today? That's cool. And grandma went here. Who? Grandma. Oh, you saw your grandma? Yes. And what did she say? Um, let's go. Let's go in the pool. Did grandma, did grandma go in the pool too? Yes. No, what did she do? Her dad's going to the pool and her get her pants wet. Did she got her pants wet? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you have fun with Glamma? Yeah. And I dad's play with Victoria. And you play with Auntie Victoria? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Like, hi guys. Bye guys.